So for the first part of this install, we're going to need to remove the windshield. Let's get started. Can I help? Raw Fuel TV is sponsored by Wheelsport, your snowmobile, motorcycle, and ATV specialist. Hey, it's Steve and Jesse from Raw Fuel TV. So we just picked up this 87 octane eater, and uh, it's the newest machine in our stables here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change out the uh, chain case oil on this. We don't know where it's been, we don't know how it's been driven, driven. and uh, the other issue with this is that it does have a mechanical reverse, and with this mechanical reverse there is a little bit more room for error on it, meaning that the gears could potentially uh, be compromised within the chain case. So we're going to dump the oil, we're going to check out the chain, we're going to check out the gears, and, uh, and go from there. What do you think, Jesse? Let's get to it, man. All right. So the first things we need to do is remove the, uh, the four springs that hold this muffler on. So there's going to be one here, second one here, and we're going to reach in for the top two right inside the engine bay. Let's get started on that. And there we go. Now, what we're going to do with this, uh, this big old suitcase here is we are going to grab the muffler from the base. We're going to... Uh, Withdraw it from the hole, and we're going to tilt the top out, and that's it. Look at that old suitcase sitting right here. And get rid of this for good, I think. So the next thing we're going to do is get this battery out of here. So just pop this red terminal up. It's probably most simple to get this Phillips screw out. That's coming loose. Just make sure you don't lose that little screw. Twist that up out of the way. You can't really get at this Phillips screw down here. So this is a 10 mil bolt, which I'm gonna undo there. This is the uh, negative or the ground of the battery. And there's one other 10 millimeter right in the top of the battery here. There's one other 10 millimeter bolt that you're gonna have to take out so this aluminum plate comes off. And there she be. All right, while Jesse's tidying that up, I'm just gonna yank the battery. Put this in a safe location. So we're gonna to wanna to remove the guard around the reverse lever. It's a little tricky. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right behind here. So if you zoom in with the camera, it's black. You can just kind of see it right back there. So basically at the stage that we're at here, we could uh, easily just pop the, uh, the, the bolts which are holding the case on, simply just crack the case a little bit, allow the oil to drain out the bottom, refill this and we're good to go. But we're not going to do that, we're going to end up removing this plastic guard here as well. We want to take the full cover off, just inspect what's going on behind there, make sure there's no problem. So we're going to get rid of these first three, three more bolts right here, one, two, and then the third one is just sort of deep in here and that's going to free up this plastic guard and that's going to allow us just to get to the rest of our chain case bolts. Are those 10 mil as well, Steve? They are. Perfect. Okay, so we've removed those three bolts right in this area here. We've got one more to get rid of, which is our fourth and final. So now from here, we're just simply going to ditch this breather and filler area. It's going to allow us just this room that we need to get in here to be able to loosen off all the bolts for the chain case. The next thing we're going to undo is this linkage bolt right here. It's a uh, hex bolt. It's a number five. All right, next up we're going to tackle these 10 mil bolts that are going to hold on the, uh, the chain case. We've obviously put ourselves a, uh, an oil catch basin underneath and Jess is going to uh, knock those off quickly. Alright, last but not least, we're going to take the 13 mil and we're going to get rid of this bolt. That's a long one. That's what she said. 
There's a little electrical connection that you gotta take off up here. Okay, so now that we've got the cover off, we're just gonna do a visual check. We've done a good cleanup in through here, and we're gonna check out all the gears, and we're gonna check out the chain. Now, we've checked out the tension of this chain, and that seems to be about right. Uh, any more than uh, any more um, slop than this, and you're likely gonna uh, have the chain connecting with the outside of the case here. So we don't want that to happen, as well as there's more of an, uh, a potential for the chain to dump the cogs here. So that looks pretty good. Um, so what the next step in this process is, is to check the actual teeth on the gear itself. So what we're gonna do with our buddy is we're gonna have uh, Jesse spinning the, uh, the secondary clutch round. We're gonna have a good look. And they look perfect. There's no, uh, there's no uh, chips out of them and all the teeth are there. So we're good to go on that. Now again, we, uh, we don't need to adjust our chain. However, had we needed to adjust our chain, we would go in with a 17 mil right on this adjuster nut here. And we're gonna uh, adjust the nut either in or out. If we're gonna adjust it in, it's gonna be hand tight. There's gonna be no tools needed for that. We're gonna hold it in place. We're gonna snug this up with a 17. And we're gonna get to something that looks about that tension there. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, or check us out at www.rawfueltv.com.